Hello, my name is Catherine Cavesi. I'm an historian at the University of Melbourne and the convener of the symposium Beauty and the Beast, the Rhino and Venice, and curator of its accompanying exhibition, Rhinoceros, Luxury's Fragile Frontier, both to be held in the city of Venice at the Palazzo Contarini Polignac in November through December 2018. Together, these events explore and highlight the effect of untrammeled, unfettered consumption on two of the world's most magnificent, yet increasingly vulnerable treasures. The rhino, the world's oldest mammal, which has walked the earth for over 50 million years, and the city of Venice, whose beauty has inhabited the world's collective imagination for over 1,500 years. These two events challenge us to ponder what might happen to both this beauty and this beast in the face of unregulated desire? My own research is into the origins of modern consumer society, especially in the city of Venice, and the mechanisms by which luxury consumption has become detached from any ethical constraints. The exhibition has come about as a result of a series of remarkable encounters with two artists and a wildlife warrior each living in widely disparate parts of our planet, yet all obsessed with the rhinoceros and its preservation. My first encounter was with wildlife warrior Lynn Johnson, co-founder of the Australian wildlife charity Nature Needs More. Lynn creates innovative demand reduction campaigns to reduce the consumption of rhino horn primarily in Vietnam, whose elite businessmen are the horn's largest per capita consumers. Despite popular conceptions, this consumption is not part of traditional Asian medicine, but is in fact a relatively new fashion in Vietnam, in which rhino horn has been artificially branded as one of the world's most expensive luxury products. My second encounter was with the extraordinary Venetian artist Gigi Bon, who first introduced me to the deep and surprising links between her personal appropriation of the rhinoceros and the city of Venice, a city in which her family have lived for centuries. It is hard to describe or do justice to Gigi's unique vision, as expressed in her studio workshop, Studio d'Arte Mirabilia, which is brimful of Gigi's sculptures, prints and objects of wonder, but above all with rhinoceroses. Her rhinos are laboriously cast in bronze using the lost wax technique and are all in the process of strange Venetian transmogrifications. Gigi also revealed to me the ancient traces of rhinos in Venice itself. From Marco Polo's description of his encounter with a rhino in present-day Sumatra, to a depiction in one of the oldest mosaics on the floor of the city's basilica, to the intriguing story of Miss Clara, the rhinoceros who was brought to Venice in 1749 and was viewed by Casanova and painted by Pietro Longhi. My third encounter was with Taiwanese artist Chi Li Zhen at his 2017 Venetian exhibition King Kong Rhino, organised by the European Cultural Centre and the Global Art Affairs Foundation. Li Zhen's often monumental sculptures interrogate the strength yet vulnerability of the rhinoceros. They explore its ancient resonances and meanings in many cultures and reflect on the increasing consumption of its horn. Like Gigi, Shi Li Zhen has a deeply personal identification with the rhinoceros. His name in Chinese characters means strength yet vulnerability and is often found stamped on his sculptures. From this unlikely Venetian concatenation of three rhinoceros obsessives, an idea for an exhibition was born. To contextualise the exhibition and to examine its deeper themes, our day-long symposium brings together award-winning writer Glynis Ridley on the history of Clara the Rhino and her grand tour of Europe, historian Bruno Martino on early modern beliefs in the curative powers of unicorns and rhino horns and those who collected them, Chinese linguist Sabrina Artizzoni, an expert on the work of Xili Zhen, environmentalist Jane De Mosto, who researches the fragile ecosystem of Venice and its lagoon, and finally, moments for reflection on our themes are proffered by Canadian poet and psychoanalyst Ronna Bloom, who has composed a series of poems especially for this event. 
We would all be so very delighted if you would come and join us in Venice for our symposium and for our exhibition, which together highlight an increasingly urgent problem in our globalised world of consumption, the fragile frontiers of luxury.